Hello again everyone, this is Tom Rowe, Product Evangelist for CenterStack, and welcome to another CenterStack tutorial. Now, um, most of you probably know that CenterStack is a great way to uh, collaborate between uh, team members on files that uh, may have started on a server somewhere and they were migrated to the cloud along with your users. Now um, you can get your users from uh, the server agent that is uh, attached to a file server. Uh, you can get it from your local uh, sources or create a new user from scratch, a native user in CenterStack. Now your uh, users can be controlled in a lot of different ways. I'm going to log in uh, Bob and Bob is uh, just a regular user. Uh, it was his user permissions were migrated in a SIF share, so he can't access the admin folder because that requires administrator privileges. But he can get into the users folder, and um, so can uh, Alice. So I'm going to log in as Alice, and uh, Alice is uh, able to get into this folder. She can't go to admin, but she can go to users. So she's going to hit the share button and type in the email of someone she would like to share this folder with. And just to add a note uh, explaining what it's for. So uh, you have one week to edit the files. And then over here we have some other options. Um, we can uh, request a file, we can uh, share it as a public folder, um, which is a read-only situation. But we're going to give this uh, user one week to edit with full control access. We have some other options that we could set here. I'm just going to turn those off and then share. Now, uh, when we go and check uh, that user's email, we'll see the invite for this folder. So here we are uh, looking at the welcome to Acme Systems file, and that has a link that we're going to use to sign in. I'm going to do this uh, in another browser. So I'm going to, uh, oops, I'm in the wrong email. Okay, there it is. I'm going to capture the uh, username. We'll copy that. And we'll paste that in here after I sign in as a different user. And then I'll do the same thing uh, with the password. I'll paste that in there. And we'll sign in. So there we go. First thing we want to do is uh, set up a new password. And now I can see the user's folder that was shared with me. And I have access to this folder for seven days. And I can create files because I have full edit, edit privileges. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, add a Word document here. There it is. So um, that's great. Now back over here, I'm still logged in as Alice. Uh, but I can see Joe's document that he's added. So we all the users have access to these files now. I'm going to go ahead and uh, download it and open it with a local application, which I can use to edit the document. So I'll just put some text in here so you can see that it's persistent between users. And I'll save this and uh, close it. And you can see it says in 30 seconds this document should be uploaded to the folder. We'll bounce over to Joe's web portal. So Joe can also edit this. He can see down there in the right corner that it has been updated. So he can open this executable file on his computer which will access his local um, editing application. 
and open the file and you can see there's the uh, edit that Alice did. So Joe can make some changes. And go ahead and save it and uh, close the document. And he gets the same message uh, that in 30 seconds it should be uploaded. So as you can see, this is a great way for you to uh, bring in guest users and give them access to your files. And um, it's a very good way to collaborate with others. So um, I hope that uh, is helpful to you and that you could see how valuable a resource this can be for your users. And um, until the next time, uh, please like and share. And I'll see you in the next tutorial.